Tonight, state lawmakers who represent Lee County are floating the idea of changing the way the county is run, and people are digging in. A, a majority of the Lee County commissioners want to keep things the way they are now, but the power to decide what happens is not in their hands. Wait News reporter Claire Galt joins us live from the newsroom, and Claire, explain what happened today. Lois, the commissioners called a special meeting. Now, the goal was to upstage a meeting that state lawmakers in the county plan to hold tomorrow to talk about making changes to Lee County government. And it was very clear today that our county commissioners do not agree on what is best for the future. At the end of the meeting, Brian Hammond gave a shout out of sorts to a fellow commissioner. I want to congratulate you, Commissioner Pendergrass, on, on, on the turnout today. Most of whom spoke in support of Pendergrass's push to oppose any change to Lee County government. Cecil, push on, my friend. I'm in support of Mr. Pendergrass's motion today. Strong mayors are notorious. They are notorious for rewarding political allies. If it's not broken. Please don't try to fix it. By a three to two vote, Pendergrass won his fight to send Lee County's legislative delegation a letter opposing the lawmakers' idea of having voters elect a mayor or county executive and doing away with a hired county manager. These letters are just political theater. They're meaningless anyways. Uh, the delegation's going to do what it makes its mind up to do. The delegation needs to hear from us, and that's the purpose of the resolution, to tell the delegation we stand strong, we do not agree with this. The delegation will meet Thursday morning to also kick around the idea of doing away with five at-large commissioners and switching to single-member districts. I think if the voters had a chance to vote for these two items, the mayor and the single-member districts, they would pass them. It would be like a dictatorship. So you would have the elected county mayor manager that would be out campaigning every day, not running the day-to-day -day operations. Right now, the county manager runs the day-to-day -day operations of the county, period. He or she is not out campaigning or raising money from people, special interest groups. Fort Myers City Councilman Johnny Street sent this letter to state lawmakers announcing his support for the changes. He called the current Lee County Charter, quote, outdated and said that the changes would make the government stronger and more efficient. I will be at tomorrow's meeting and I'll bring you updates on what's happened. Chris, Lois.